May I speak in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please do be seated. So as I mentioned at the start of the service, this is the first Sunday in Lent. Last week I talked about Lent being a turning point when we turn away from Christmas and start to look towards Easter. Lent is a special time in the Christian calendar, a time of prayer and self-discipline as we prepare our hearts and minds to celebrate the resurrection of Christ at Easter. But the start of Lent is also a very fitting time to think about baptism. As we celebrate Freddie's baptism this morning, it gives us the opportunity to think about our own baptisms and the promises that were made, perhaps promises that were made for us or promises that we made ourselves. And it's quite nice for Freddie, although he's dozed off now, <laughs> to know that he's not the only one who's going to get wet today. And the Gospel reading we've just heard, Jesus also reaches a turning point in his life and his ministry. He spends 40 days in the wilderness preparing for what lies ahead. He's tempted and he has choices to make. He turns against what is offered. He turns against what the world offers. Comfort, power, security, and riches. And he chooses to turn towards suffering, death, and sacrifice. He chooses that path which has been ordained for him, the path that ultimately leads to new life. And baptism marks a turning point in our lives, both for those who are being baptised and for those who make promises on their behalf. We too have choices to make and we have to decide which way to turn. In a moment, I will be asking the parents and godparents some questions. Do you turn away from sin? Do you turn to Christ? as saviour? And these are good questions for all of us to think about at the start of Lent. Do you turn away from sin? Do you turn to Christ as saviour? Which way are you facing? And what is drawing you one way or another? It's hard to keep our eyes on God. <coughs> It's hard to keep focused because we are tempted and distracted by many things. The things of the world that draw us away from God. Comfort, power, security, riches. Turning to Christ is not an easy choice. It's the start of a long and difficult journey but when we put our trust in God, we too can set out on that path that ultimately leads us to new life. And the good news is that this journey, this Christian journey that we all walk on, we don't walk alone. And we don't walk in our own strength. For we could never hope to do so. At the... At our moment of baptism, we receive the gift of God's Holy Spirit, our comforter and guide. And it's God's Holy Spirit that sustains us, that keeps us turned towards God, keeps our eyes fixed on him, and helps to keep us on the right path. So hear those questions again and treasure them in your heart. Do you turn away from sin? Do you turn to Christ as Saviour? Do you trust in him as Lord? Today, as Freddie is baptised, 
We pray for the gift of God's Holy Spirit as Freddie steps out on his own Christian journey, a journey which is all about getting to know who God is and how much God loves him. Together, we will promise to pray for Freddie as he makes his first step on this journey. Because today, Freddie, he's brought all his friends and family with him, but he's going to become a member of a much bigger family, the family of God, as we welcome him into the church and he receives that most wonderful gift of God's Holy Spirit. We walk with him as he steps out on that journey. It's a well-trodden path, a path trodden by numerous faithful pilgrims who have gone before us. It's the path that God calls us along, the path that leads to new life and to the very heart of God's love. Amen.